to that. A report out this month from the Dutch bank, Rabobank, recommends cutting food waste by 10 per cent. A great idea. More efficient use of water is necessary, the report says, such as micro-irrigation. I don't know if any of you have costed out micro-irrigation, but there's not going to be a lot of people putting up their hands to go down this path in a hurry uh, because it's unbelievably expensive per hectare. The report also calls for a reduction in dependence on fertilisers using input optimisation methods designed to reduce the amount of energy and water required as 53 per cent of fertiliser nutrients remain in the ground post-harvest. Now I find this really fascinating because my brother's a cropper uh, and he grows um, wheat up at Dubbo and a lot of the croppers now are down to putting 60 kilos of MAP under the crop and if they get a decent rain for the year they'll put on another 100 kilos of urea and that's it. And I wouldn't have thought that you could get much more input optimisation than that and yet their yields are terrible and they're not making any money and uh, they're now what we unfortunately term uh, whinging farmers which is just incredibly sad because uh, Dominic's only 30 he's got a long way to go in his farming career so um, we need to provide a few answers and I don't think uh, water is the sole answer this is the relationship between energy density in food and the water content of foods and in actual fact, as the water content goes up, the energy density goes down in the food. So it's not all to do with micro-irrigation, I can assure you. The Rabobank obsession with focusing on improvement of existing industrial methods without quite grasping the scale of the problems facing industrial agriculture is, however, a serious deficiency. And I do agree with that comment. And I'm not just picking on the Rabobank here. And I'm not going to remain negative, but... This is the decline in foodborne minerals since the 1900s. And I get really excited when I see something like this. Because on the one hand, we've got something that's really rather damning, but on the other hand, we've got a really, really exciting opportunity. And you guys are learning all about this right now. This is what this conference is all about. <laughs> 